Okay, let's keep going where we stopped. Uh, let's look at number four. Now remember, with domain, you're looking on the x-axis. You're going left to right. So scanning on the left, boom, this arrow keeps going. Scan all the way to the right, boom, this arrow keeps going. Left and right, if they continue, that domain is going to be all real numbers. Now, just like on number one, when I look from the bottom to the top, I do have a stop. It stops going up right here. The Y value stop right here. So let's count that. One, two, three, four. There's one stop, so there's only going to be one symbol. You're comparing it to one number. So we're comparing our Y's to four. Are my Y's bigger or smaller than four? They are smaller than and then since there's not a gap here and that point is included this gets underlined so it's y's are less than or equal to four alright let's look at number five I want you guys to try it and then I'll put my answer so pause the video try number five find the domain and range and then when you're ready to see the answer push play Alright, so on this one, scanning left to right for the domain. We always do the domain first. I've got it right here. It stops at negative 1. And scanning to the right, it goes all the way to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, positive 5. Domain is comparing x values. And as long as you put your lowest number over here and your biggest number over there, your symbols are always going to go like this. Now, these are included because they're part of the graph, so both of these get underlined. Now for the range, start at the bottom, go to the top. At the bottom, boom, it stops at negative one, two, three. At the top, it goes to positive one, two, three. Remember, range, you're comparing it to your y's. Since I've got my smallest number over there, biggest number over there, your symbols will go just like this. And close dot, so it's included. Close dot, so it's included. And that's it. Now, let's look at number six. It's a little funny because it's got a curve in the middle. We're still looking left to right, bottom to top. So on the left, I look and I see I've got an arrow continuing. Scanning to the right, I've got that arrow keep going. So from left to right, it's keep going, so this one's going to be all real numbers. Now for our range, at the bottom I've got an arrow, at the top I've got an arrow. So it's continuing going down forever and up forever. This one is all real numbers. Now I know there's a squiggly and it looks like it would stop right here, but we still have the values over here going up. And same thing down here. The values look like they stop right there, but we still have them going down there and up there. As long as it counts one and it keeps going and there's not a break, it's going to be all real numbers. Alright, flipping over to the back. on number seven let's start with our domain once again we're going left to right on the left side I've got an arrow on the right side I've got an arrow whenever it goes forever in both directions what do we call that good that one's all real numbers now for the range does this continue going down forever or does it stop there? It stops. It stops at negative 1, 2, negative 3. So it stops at negative 3. Going up, does it go up forever? No, it stops. And this pattern continues. It stops at positive 2. So we need to go from negative 3, comparing our y's to positive 2. The symbol goes in between because we did smallest to largest. 
Those are closed dots, so they're included, they're included. So even though this had arrows going both ways, it had stops on its Y's. So we had two symbols for two stops. I'm going to pause right here. We're going to do the last three on the next video.